Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And can you find the area of the big and small circles? We have a figure here. We got two circles within them. We have a large one and a small one. We have a rectangle going on here. We have one side like this is nine and the other is eight. Our two circles touch right here and they got tangent points along the rectangle. Do you know what the area of each one of these circles are? I want you to try that right now. But if you're an impatient, we're just gonna dive on in. So first thing when I'm looking at this problem, I wanna see what information I can get. So, I've noticed here our circle. We have, if we go vertically here, we can see the radius of the overall length of the rectangle is eight. Our radius across this, our radius is gonna be half that, we have a length of four, okay? And we can apply that really in any direction, right? This length is a four as well. But what about the radius of B? We don't know what that is. What if we called that R? We'll just call that the radius R here, the radius of B to be R. And that radius also comes, well, down here as well. Let's call that R. I'm gonna draw a line across everything here, across this distance right here, okay? Straight line across. And what do we know about, well, the distance from here to the bottom? That is also R. That also means that the length from the center of circle A to r is the radius of four minus that r as well. And then also, since our overall length here of our bottom of our rectangle is a nine, and four goes to this spot right here, that means five is left over. And so the length here of, well, from here to that spot, that point to this spot here, is gonna be five minus the r. Now, we can make a right triangle here, connecting that here, and we wanna find the length of the hypotenuse. And that hypotenuse here, well, it's gonna be a few things. We have the length of R as the radius all the way to the end, plus the radius of circle B, which is R, and so we have four plus an R here. So with the Pythagorean theorem, we can apply well, what we know. We have a four minus an R, all squared, one leg, plus the other leg, five minus an r squared equals a four plus an r, the hypotenuse squared. Now we gotta multiply that out. Four minus r, r all squared is a 16 minus eight r plus an r squared. Here, five minus r, r all squared is a 25 minus 10 r plus r squared. And that is equal to the last part here. That's a 16 uh, plus an eight r plus an r squared. All right, we wanna combine our, all of our like terms, bring everything over to the left, and we'll see what we can do. Subtract a 16 to both sides right here, a little easy, they cancel out. Uh, combine like terms minus eight r right here, and minus an r squared. Oh, r squareds cancel, that's always nice. We have zero on the right. On the left we have, uh, let's bring r squared first. We have r squared here, comes down. Negative eight r minus eight r is negative 16 r, plus that 10 r is minus 26 r. Got all that, and then the 25. So we have r squared minus 26 r, plus 25 <laughs> equals zero. This can factor, we have r minus a 25, and an r minus a one equals zero. Moving on. We solve each individual for r, and r can equal a 25, or r can equal a one. Which one applies to our problem? Well, 25 clearly can't be r, because if that was the radius of little circle b, that would go way past r squared. Don't worry about that. Let's deal with r equal to one. And if that's the case, I think we have a formula for a circle. Area equals pi r squared for each circle. So if we have the Big circle, circle A, let's call the area. <laughs> the area of circle A is gonna be pi times its radius, which we know is four, squared. And that A equals, I'll put it down here, that's a 16 pi units squared. The second circle, the B one, so the area of circle B, 
And that's gonna be, well, r is one, that's actually easy, pi times one squared, and that's gonna be pi units squared is the area of the circle B. And so the total area of both circles, A and B, is equal to, we add them up, a 17 pi units squared. Did you get that answer? If you did, way to go. If not, I hope you learned something on how to problem solve through this problem. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.